Advent Calendar. And today I'm going to show you four ways to make candles. The easiest dollhouse candles to make are the ones made from cocktail sticks or bamboo skewers. And uh, for that you'll need the cocktail sticks or the bamboo skewers, some quilting thread or sewing thread. I'm using quilting thread because it has a nice thickness to it. Some sharp cutters, scissors, tacky glue, maybe some sandpaper and some paint and I'm using a nice red color and somewhere to put the skewers and the cocktail sticks in when they're drying. Now I'm going to be using the cocktail sticks because they fit perfectly in here I have a silver candlestick by Jens Torp and I've snipped off the bottom and it fits in perfectly. So, and here's another one, a little brass candlestick and same thing for this one. I need to push a little bit harder, but that fits in perfectly. So, all you have to do is snip off a tiny bit of the top. Not a lot, just so that it's a little bit flat on the top. Just give it a quick sand. And put it somewhere so it can be painted. You don't have to hold it. And I'll make a few make this one a little bit lower and just cut the top off so that there's still a little bit of a taper at the top that will make it look nice and as I said I'm painting them red and I just like to this is one of those noodles that came in a this thing came in a something I got into in the mail in a little you know it's one of those wrapping I don't know if, I think they're called noodles not sure anyway they <laughs> they're perfect for um, holding stuff when when it's drying and it works exactly the same way with the skewers it's just these are just bigger candles now, while that is drying, uh, take your thread and snip off a few pieces. And they don't have to be long, and not too short, because you want to be able to hold them. So I need three. And actually, these are a little bit too long, so let's just snip them in half. Now, when that has dried, just take a little bit of glue and some of your threads. Dip them in the glue, one end, and stick them on top of the cocktail stick. The candles have dried and they look great. And now we just have to cut them to length. Let me just check. They don't have to be incredibly long, so about half, I would say. And that's it. There's a candle. I think they look great quick and very easy. Now the next method is also incredibly easy. It is using a, a cotton swab or a q-tip and you just snip off the ends so that you're left with the hollow tube. Then I'll cut them in half Now, take some tacky glue and fill the tops with some glue. 
basically you're just putting some on top like that and it doesn't matter if they're sticking up if the glue is sticking up a little bit because it's going to sink down when it's drying so you can lay a lot on there and that's why actually it's nice um, to have these as burning candles or burnt candles or used candles because the glue is going to dry and then sink a little bit in the middle so then it looks like a candle that has been burnt before then take your wicks so i'm using a black one place them in the center and I mean, this is again, incredibly simple. Oh. And you don't really need to dip them in the glue because there is glue in there. And then you let that dry. And there you have them quick and incredibly easy to make. The next candle I'll be making is a church candle or several church candles and I've got one here and I've made that by um, using the tops of pens and you can just use a pen you like. I like these rounded ones but these also have nice shapes and then I just use this two part silicon putty and you mix it together. You need some uh, quilting thread again or thread to create a wick and of course you need some candle wax and I'm just using these tea lights and a little pin to stick into the candle to put the wick in and all you do is choose a, a shape you like in my in my case the ends of the pen then mix the two part silicon molding material together until you get a smooth consistency Put it onto the shape you like and let the mold set. Then light your candle, let the wax melt and pour it into your molds. And of course be very careful because the wax is really really hot. You don't want to burn yourself and let that set. That was a bit messy. <laughs> I think they're okay now and uh, I can take them out and they're very easy to take out. You just push the end and they pop up. There's one. And the other one. Then with your pin, prick a little hole in the top and put your thread in there to create a little wick. And if you want, you can just drop a little bit of hot wax on there to secure the wick in place, but it's not really necessary. One top tip though, um, keep your wax clean and your hands clean, your work surfaces clean, because even the wax picks up dirt very, very quickly, particularly if the wax isn't fully cured yet. Now, the easiest way to get the bottom nice and straight and flat is to take your hobby knife or scalpel and just scrape bits of wax of the bottom on a hard surface like that and that's it there we have them some church candles with some dirt on them I'll have to make some new ones the last ones I'm going to show you how to make today are miniature tea lights and these are my favorites and you'll need two real tea lights and I'm using a small one and a larger one and then you'll need some quilting thread or regular thread, some uh, super glue, a sharp hobby knife or a scalpel, 
a steel ruler and a measuring tool like calipers or something like that and something round um, and I have a brass rod here it, and it has a diameter of four millimeters. Then you'll need something smooth to put your your wax on and I'm using the lid of a plastic container and you may need some gloves because the wax does get very hot. Oh, and you'll also need some scissors and a skewer or a small stick. Now, first things first, light your candle because it's going to take a long time for the candle wax to melt. So what I'm doing is I'm cutting the tea light, the real one, <laughs> into um, a strip. And I'm going to flatten that. And then I'm going to cut strips of it. The tea lights are about two centimeters high, which is about 1.7 millimeters in 12 scale. So I'm cutting a strip of 1.7 millimeters wide to make tiny tea lights. A strip for the tea light. Now I'm going to wrap that around that metal tube I have. Like that. Now I'll cut that where they overlap, over there. And now I have enough to make one tea light. Um, I have to glue it first and I'll do that with a little bit of super glue. Press that in place and keep that pressed down just as long as the glue needs to dry. Now cut a few lengths of thread as wicks and then if your wax has melted and your glue has dried then grab your little cup, your foil cup Dip it into the wax a little bit and then put it down onto the plastic. Grab your wick, put it in there and then take a stick and put some wax on the side of it and then warm the wax until it starts to melt and then drop it onto the little candle and this may take some practice because it's not easy and then when the wax has set a little bit you can take your knife or your scalpel and push down on the wax and scrape it off a little bit to make it flat on the top. And this is a very delicate operation and be careful you don't break open your um, little cup. And when you've finished smoothing them, just cut off the wick. Et voila! Tiny tea lights. I love these. Don't burn down the doll's house. <laughs> Until next time.